Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here and welcome back to my let's play walkthrough of Tales of Zestiria continuing from where we left off so there's quite a few different things to do on the map here so we're gonna go and head right first of all I also want to have a look over here um, in the shop so let's have a look Okay, let's have a look. Make sure that that's fine. Right, let's go over here now. Can't you give us a break on the medicine at least? Sorry, I'm already putting my life on the line. Hey mister, don't you know that you're getting ripped off? I know. But in this region, traveling merchants are the only people we can count on. But five times the market rate is just too much. There's a rampaging elephant in Zafgot Moor that is attacking merchant caravans. The danger involved caused the prices to skyrocket. Well, we can it's take care of elephant. that. Aren't there plenty of ways to deal with it, like running away or setting a trap? But it has wiped out many cavalries and armed troopers. Definitely sounds fishy. Could you possibly be... The Shepherd? Oh, uh, yes. My name is Saray. Oh, my. We've heard a lot about you. Your hope for this world. Please, do your best. Please, let us know if you need anything. I pray we can be of use to you. Thank you. Just saying that means a lot. I'm surprised at how pious they are. That's how it's always been in Logren. They must admire and respect the Shepherd full-heartedly. Even though they're in a state like this. Isn't that where you come in, as the real Shepherd? Looks like it. Which means I have to take care of the elephant. As well have a look. There might be something nearby. Of course it's locked. Curses. Aha, I see you. It's here. Yeah, it took you to find we had to be right on top of it before you found it, Edna. You let us down there.
go this way. Why did she... Rose, is the injury you got from him starting to hurt? Oh, no, I'm totally fine. It's just really embarrassing for me to get hurt like that when being kept ransom. No. What's really scary is that he would do such a thing without hesitation. And plus... Simone's reaction. Yes. Her illusions are really something. Her skills are quite unusual. But there's something even stranger about her. You mean how she isn't affected by malevolence? Yes. Or rather, how deeply she believes in him from the bottom of her heart. But how could she? When she was shot, she was smiling. How could she trust him so? Only she knows the answer. But Simone has remained a seraph while following the will of Heldolf. That much is true. So then what's really dangerous is how pure she actually is. Pretty ironic. Yeah. Well, she's certainly an interesting character. Spherical perfection? You don't think it's Armadillon? He said it was in Trizold Cave. Let's head on over there. <laughs> I can sense it. Where? Oh, there it is. How do I get to that? Oh, there we go. Uh, Earth attack power. So... Right, okay. We should probably have a look over here just in case there is any treasure chests or anything. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Of course it's locked. Again. Must be herbs around here. Firmly locked. Ah, there's probably a herb inside, but I can't get to it because the door's locked.
suppose we could go and fight this elephant. Wherever it is. I don't know where it is. Let me have a look. Um... suppose we could just head to either direction and try and find it. I've got a feeling it's going to be over here though. That caravan attacking elephant must be a Hellion. Most likely. But where it is, no one knows. Just look for a huge elephant, I guess. Bigger than normal. Even a scorpion can prove a very dangerous Hellion. If only I could tell which ones were male or female. Why? Why does it matter? Do I even want to know why it matters? Can't just swing your sword around and Let's have a look over here just in case. It's not going to be that because that's just a regular size elephant. I think that's a regular size one as well actually. Yep. I think we are supposed to go in here. Didn't it say something about the armadillo thing? Shall we go? Yeah. Dual bombs are very dualistic about things. I'm not really sure I get it. Fortune telling. Please pick one. So, uh, which side is the front? Savid. 
Are you asking me out? I kind of like your interpretation. <laughs> the heck? That's weird. Won't let me interact with it or anything. Okay. I think it's some kind of coffin just left there. As you do in the cave. Oh damn, that'll be a shortcut then. Let's go this way first. Let's do this. Oh, Purification complete. Me through. We that's. And this is a gold one, isn't it? Yep. Curses. It's really pretty in here, actually. Right, so we may as well smash through this rock now. So we've got that shortcut set up for the exit. Oh no, hang on. I thought we were on the other side, I guess not. Stop chasing me, bird. Saray, look around you. It's nice to actually do some, um, well, it's not a dungeon, but you know what I mean, some exploring for a change. Like, feels like the last time we did that was ages ago. Right, okay, so where are we? We're here, so let's go that way first. There might be something nearby. We must hold I can't even move, Jesus, let me out. <laughs> nice to be able to put my hair up with a barrette, right? What? Right. 
way first. It seems there's a treasure chest near us. Wait, that's... Haven't seen any Norman yet. Saray, look carefully at the ground. A glowing mushroom. Nice. Moist and gross, but points to <laughs> otherworldliness. But how strange. What causes it to glow? I bet he'd know if he were still here. <sighs> Aww. Hey, hey! Why not ask your buddies a veed? What? You know the answer? The famed glowing mushroom. And why, pray tell, does it glow so bright? You don't know. The answer is you don't know, right? Because it craves attention. Three points out of a thousand. Oh. But look, I'm not wrong, am I? A shy mushroom would never willingly stick out like that. Over explaining. 20 point penalty. There's no. <laughs> <point>? <laughs> We've got a mushroom of our own to brighten our path, don't we? It seems we do. <laughs> uh. So they're calling Zavid a mushroom now. I've heard it all. There's actually not a lot of enemies inside this cave. Still chasing me, Jesus. This way. Still quite a lot more to explore, Jesus. Right, so I guess I'll stop this episode here, guys. And obviously on the next episode, we shall carry on exploring this cave. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. All those things do help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching. Take it easy, guys.